Okay, so this is going to be something that you run into quite often. You're going to be asked to go wire up a heating and air unit and the HVAC guys never, ever, ever mark the heat kit. So, when you get here, you have two options. You can run one single power supply for both unit and heater kit, or you can run one circuit for the heater kit and one circuit for the heating and air. So the HVAC guys already pulled wire for this. So they, they were gonna do it with just one circuit, right? So I, you're gonna have to take this apart, take the cover off, come around over here, look at the heat kit itself. And it's gonna tell you right there, the model number C10J right there. So now that you have that information, you can come over here, mark your heat kit. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do one single circuit. All right, so um, this is your um, voltage, 208, 240. So C10J, come across. So we're at 240 volt. We're gonna have to have a max size of an 80 amp breaker right there our circuit ampacity is 73 so we need wire that can support 73 or more amps right and then if you were going to do it with two circuits you would run a uh, minimum circuit ampacity is 50 and then your max overcurrent is 50 so you would have one breaker feeding the unit for uh, with a 50 and then your second circuit for, for the air conditioning unit would be the minimum circuit ampacity is 23 max fuse or circuit breaker size is 35 so you 35 number 10 on a 35 amp breaker so just to recap check for your heat kit mark it figure out what your options are 80, 73 is ampacity, 80 is a circuit breaker, or you can do it that way. But you're gonna have to take this apart to figure that out. Also, it's gonna tell you, must be HACR type. That is a style of circuit breaker. It's uh, for HVAC equipment. And as you can see, I'll see if I can get this to focus. Well, anyway, it says listed type listed HACR type so you have to have the HACR type breaker feeding the unit and so the HVAC guys already pulled the wire and obviously another thing they did wrong was this disconnect is not rated for 80 amps not only that but hey surprise surprise so I'll be here Gotta go get some shit to fix it, but you're gonna have to do this quite a bit. And they never, they never, ever, ever mark their heat kits. So now you know how to figure out what your heat kit is and, uh, and figure out what size wire and breaker.